Turning the corner into King Street, I'm quickly running through the plot of the Stone Roses opera I'm writing in my head when suddenly a horrific scene stops me in my tracks. It's that notorious gang of hoodlums known as the Afflex Wombles. I had hoped to avoid a run-in with the infamous herd of latex and leather aficionados, but there they were, emerging from the vacant Jamie's Italian. They're all tooled up with an assortment of weaponry, ranging from a branded cheese grater to pepper grinders a yard long. They begin to circle. What's the we got away then, Governorio? Scoffs the leader in Italian cockney gibberish. Tread carefully, Brian, my brain says to me. I beg your pardon, you fine good people. The circle is closing. You hear me, oh, damn good what I say, Petrudio, blurbs the ringleader. That circle is dangerously close to closed. One mean punk womble threatens me with his pasta maker, and I'm away. <laughs> It might seem a bit whimsical, but when I suddenly get it into my head to go for a pleasant morning jog, I really put my back into it. I soon find myself at my destination, the Castlefield Bowl. Gah! The mob have kept up with me. They move closer, chanting. Kill, die, pucker them up and you know what I mean. Kill, die! Back! I plead casually as they close in on me, forcing me backwards up onto the stage where a full discarded lineup of a band sits plugged in and ready to go. Boys, you've no idea what's at stake. I need to find the supernova champagne beer. Immediately upon my words, the Womble Mob drop to their knees, bowing their heads. You know what I mean, Champagne Supernova, you know what I mean. Yes, I do know what you mean. I most certainly do not know what they mean, but my instinct for survival kicks in and I try something. An unplugged gig. Never played the drums before, but I feel of all of the instruments on that stage, it must be the least impossible. I mean, come on. Drummers don't need brains, they're just basically noisy toddlers. I mount the drum kit like a pro and play an expert rendition of Champagne Supernova. How many special people change? How many lives of living strange? One hell of a groovy jamming afternoon later, and I'm wholeheartedly taken into the bosom of that gang, who, it turns out, believe correctly the Gallagher brothers to be higher beings who came with their fifth dimensional music to Earth when their home world was consumed by a nearby supernova. After dinner, back at the restaurant, they all collapse, exhausted, drunk on camaraderie and panna cotta. My instinct takes me on a wander to the basement, when my keen eye spots a glowing door floating inches above the ground, with a neon sign above it, which reads, What's the story? Brackets. Beer story. Close brackets. This could be it. And just in time. The Manchester Adventures of Brian Hovitz. I loaf at radio, supported by the Audio Content Fund. <laughs>